So welcome everyone to the Well-Being Wednesday and it's always, always, always a pleasure to be here to see all of you and to conduct these sessions because this also gives me an opportunity to reach out to people from Unicorn University, from the other groups as well and you know most of the people who would really like to receive healing. And as you are aware, these videos are also then put up on our YouTube channel, which means you can access it anytime. I know during the lockdown, so many of uh, our people were telling me, you know, I always say unicornians because all, all the people part of the unicorn university that a lot of times they would listen to the videos and go to sleep. So um, I that's the reason I always keep it on the YouTube channel so that everyone can access it whenever they would they would want to. And um, yeah, so it's... Um, Ashwini, I just want to say something. I mm -hmm. think around during, I think after, just after the lockdown in 2021, yeah. I was having some feelings about, you know, a past kind of a friendship or something, you know, which was just bringing back, you know, that time we were a little rough. And I happened to bump up your, your article on the unicorns in the Reiki Rays site, oh, okay? Wow, and wow. you had jotted down some steps and I have done yeah. that. Yeah. And I think... Uh, since then uh, those wow. at, like unnecessary attachment you know like you feel like uh, that that kind of urge for nothing for no good reason because yeah. we were that time stuck at the homes you know we were not. So yeah yeah that, I, got, I that, that got majorly healed so i am so happy to let you know this thank you so and much I for really sharing that and more and power really to you think, thank you and i really feel that you have a very good uh, reiki slash energies channel i think you should do more on that i don't know how you will do it but it's we'll love at the end yeah sure. and so you know for now we are doing this weekly things and i really um, i i always say that i want more and more people to attend this because this is also an opportunity to even experience that so uh, yes th thank you for that wonderful feedback and uh, maybe we can take unicorn healing sometime in the future as a part of the uh, the well-being Wednesdays. Because for now, we are taking Reiki, we are taking angels, and we also invoke the presence of unicorns in some of the audios. Because, uh, you know, when I start doing energy healing, I ask all the divine beings to uh, help and support. So maybe even today we can invoke the presence of unicorns and let's see what magic is possible. So thanks for that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. So today's topic is something which is um, of utmost importance to us all because the past few decades, I think we all have been living in this overstimulated environment, which means we are constantly on the go. Okay. Um, our jobs are competitive. Academically, we were competitive. We were a generation who was academically very competitive. I think most of us were. I, I do not really remember in my teens and 20s actually enjoying life or going because I was busy studying. Uh, and all the time I was, okay, exams. Iske baad wo exam, uske baad wo exam. So honestly, uh, I, I really started living life after I started working. But, you know, initial years as I was working, you have less responsibilities and you are, you know, you are a new joinee. You are among the junior people so you that is the time i have we have fun as as um, as people but as you start climbing the corporate ladder and as more responsibilities start taking up at work also uh, responsibilities start taking up in your personal space in your in your home uh, with family we are constantly living by our checklists okay that today i have to do this i have to do this so at work i have a dif different checklist i have okay i have this client Tick mark, tick mark, I have to do this, I have to send these reports, depending on whatever your job profile is. This is, I have to do this, I have to do that, these are my deliverables. Then you have another list for home, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that. Um, then you have another another list for um, any other domestic uh, things you, you are going to take care of, say expenses, management, um, and we, we just run in that cycle, which does not give us time to sit and feel what we really need to feel okay because then uh, most of us live in most of us because i was once a part of that uh, you know corporate culture and i would say monday to friday you are at work you you are running one thing after the other saturday sundays are the days you get for things like laundry like cleaning 
फिनिशिंग ऑफ द टास्क विच यू नो डोमेस्टिक टास्क एनीथिंग रिलेटिंग टू होम अगर कुछ बचा कुछ टाइम है यूल स्पेंड विद फैमिली एंड दिस कीप्स आर नर्वस सिस्टम सो हाइपर एक्टिव and this is very important i realized this very late that our nervous system becomes a uh, very hyperactive and we are all the times even with little things we get started okay so you know you just hear some sound and you are you are in that kind of a state also you are um, you are all the time you are you've gotten so much used to being constantly overstimulated that even when it is time for you to rest you will not rest you know and that's the reason you're watching tv with your family you're sitting next to your loved ones you're watching the tv and you have this phone in your hand and you are you are continuously scrolling how, how many of us have done that just you know let's let's be because i've done that i've done that too so i'm i'm being very honest with you and that made me understand that oh my god this it's something which we have to really um this is this, these are some of the symptoms that you are overstimulated also we become controlling and you know up till a few years ago i thought that the more i control the smarter or the more intelligent i am okay that was what one of my limiting beliefs was when i'm trying to control when i'm being the strict uh, tyrant kind of a personality the more i am that kind of personality the more people will respect me okay and uh, unfortunately i failed at being that so i i i try to control things and things would just the more i tried to control we even try to control timelines like this is a very simple example when people come to me for tarot readings um or angel readings they always ask me when will this thing happen and i always say you know whenever even when we are pulling cards for when things will happen it's an approximate um future prophecy because i i personally feel that we cannot predict the future no one can predict the future future is a series of possibilities you tap on depending depending on your vibrational frequency if you are in a very happy positive state you will attract the the future you would like to faster and sooner than if you are in a low vibrational state okay and uh, you know you can take notes as i'm talking and you can also watch this video will be saved later and you can access it so um so that makes that makes us believe that the more we control when we feel okay now i have the control for instance i someone tells me okay uh, when is it likely that this thing will happen i'm looking forward for a work trip work trip may be my company is sending me somewhere on a project and that project is promising to pay me more money so i will be on that project but it's it's very uncertain right now when will that happen and you know if i tell that person you know maybe in the next 3 months so so people are like oh 3 months i want it now okay so why is this desperation we don't trust the universe why we don't trust the universe because our system is wired for to find threats okay and that's why we want to control everything we have been so used to having difficult situations around that uh, our nervous system is now always looking for some kind of danger and when this is your dominant vibration when your dominant vibration is you are looking for danger what will happen you will attract danger so that's why something or other will keep on happening and we will keep you know having those kind of things but when we change our vibrational blueprint when we change our nervous system the way we look at the world and the way we when we realize that we are only co-creating with the universe okay and what is the universe universe is not some external figure universe is not some person who is sitting outside and you know telling you that hey ashwini hi i am the universe no universe is what you are it's it's your higher self it's your dominant highest blueprint which which you are and when you access that okay you and when you start accessing your highest timeline when you start accessing the best version of what you want to be when you reach at that stage vibrationally you start attracting better but you know it's like a vicious circle right something happened in the past things did not go now that experience is dominating your vibration okay that's why you're coming across at someone who is been you know who's feeling very tired who's feeling that oh i'm just so tired about life things are just not progressing what do i do right and and i understand it's very natural that if things are not working you can't really be in the cheerful state but one thing you can change 
in order to move out of that survival state and to move into the creation state. And that is changing your vibration. How do you change your vibration? You change your vibration by A. Of course, you know, there are different ways to look at it. We are today going to look at Reiki as the as one of the ways to, to change your vibration, to change your um the pattern of how you think. And if you listen to this this video, probably what you can do is this video will be on my website on my um YouTube. You can access this video as many times as you want. You can fast forward to where we start the healing. And you could also listen to it for the next 21 days. Along with it, I always ad address um, to use affirmations. Affirmations work wonderfully, but you have to do them. Because we read affirmations, right? Nowadays, on Facebook, on Instagram, you see every coach, every speaker, every healer, they write about affirmations. Affirmations are like, um, I'm, I'm happy and I'm grateful. Uh, every, everything is coming to me with lots of ease. Things are happening well with me. Uh, things are uh, going very smooth, very lucky. We see these affirmations. However, we do not read or write those affirmations regularly. Right? And the moment you start using those affirmations and the moment you start using those affirmations daily, a lot of things will change for you. So I always say just before you go to sleep and just after you wake up from the bed, start doing those affirmations. Okay, and I will be talking about some affirmations as we do the Reiki healing itself. You could just make a note of it. I also write affirmations sometimes. So, you know, when I felt at that I was at my darkest times, I would write affirmations. You know, I, I would write things. I'm always supported by the universe. And th there was a time where I felt I was totally unsupported. And the only affirmation I kept using for the next month is I receive support from everywhere. People are always supporting me. People are always supporting me. I always attract people who are very supportive. I always attract people who understand me. And guess what? Those are the kind of people whom, who, who showed up in my life and I received support when I really needed that. But what do we do? We get so much stuck in our stories that we keep saying that thing. We keep saying things like, Are, no one supports me. Yeah, what to do? So yeah, okay, you have an awareness that no one is supporting you rightly. But now you could change. You could change the narrative and make it. I'm always supported. Okay. Now, this is the first, these are the initial first steps to do. And of course, you can receive Reiki. Uh, Reiki goes beyond time and space. So if I'm channeling this energy right away, and all of you who are showing who have showed up live for this, thank you so much for showing up live because I, I always feel that even if it's there on the YouTube channel, it's it's a commitment that all of you are live here. So Thank you once again for showing up live. And of course, those who are going to watch this later too, thank you for uh, watching this and just make best use of uh, all of uh, all, all of it, whatever I'm sharing. So now coming to control. Now control is where we want an out, we want the outcome to be in a particular manner. Okay. I want that, like I'll give you my example. I'm doing a workshop and I want X number of people for the workshop. I want everything to go in a particular manner. I've, I've charted out the workshop uh, summary of what is the flow of whatever I'm going to teach. All of that, I have just put it out and I'm just, uh, you know, um, looking at it as a, uh, guys, just give me a minute. My internet, I'm just going to shift my internet. So just give me a minute to do that. So, so when we are when we are um, looking at, when, when we are trying to control things, we we want to keep the things um, in a particular manner. So I was giving my own example. Whenever I'm having a workshop, I feel, oh, this is the summary. This is the order in which I'm going to do. At 10 o'clock, I'm going to start with this. At 11, this is going to happen and all. And something happens and something goes a little different than what I plan. You know, maybe... A particular se section takes more time and someone asks more doubts. So I would, earlier I would panic a lot, you know, oh, this is something I have to cover and this is, but the moment you understand that you have to let go of the control and allow things to work, they do work. Control makes you always so stressed. Okay. Control is not good. Control feels, uh, 
and when things do not go as per what you feel what you think and what you created you automatically go into the wrongness of it right what do you mean by going into the wrongness of it you 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 feel you know we always have a black and white uh, picture for everything if something is not white it's naturally black and you are all the time disturbed and you know you are feeling that oh things are not going well i decided something it did not work. and hence i always say let go of the control so today afternoon i was talking with uh, one of my uh, one of my colleagues at unicorn insight namrata and we were talking about control we were talking about this topic and it was so amazing and um i always i'm i'm really inspired by the work of gabriel bernstein who is one of my favorite authors and for so many people who have taken uh, paid sessions with me i always tell them that you know her books are really very inspiring because i i i like the way she talks about a very grounded approach towards manifesting which is all about letting go of the control and trusting in the power of the universe again universe is not some external thing universe is what connects you to all that is right so she talks about that when you are trying to control everything and when you are taking all that control in your hand you are not letting the divine intervene with your work and you are not letting the divine flow okay i'll give you a very simple example imagine you have a person who has joined your organization they are your your, your reporty and there is some task which is being given to them okay now if you let them do that work then they will then only then they will be able to do that work right but if you have given that work to them but if you are doing that work they will say hello what is this you have hired me to do this job and now you are doing the work how will i get to do my work this work i'm supposed to do right and many of you will say oh but what if that reporty is not able to do it we have to give them a chance it is the same way the universe is going to work only and only if you give that you give that chance to the universe to work for you the moment you are controlling okay the moment you are controlling everything you are not letting the universe work with you and whenever you feel that oh things are just not working so she talk, she talks about reaching a rock bottom where things just do not work okay now when things do not work she she actually went down her knees and she prayed and in that prayer she said i really invite the support of the universe the first step is acknowledging that there is a higher power okay and this is exactly what we talk about in in reiki so we had a reiki class over the last weekend which was really wonderful it was a lot of fun uh, and we spoke about how the energy is so intelligent that it reaches wherever it has to reach okay so now if you are someone who is wondering but i cognitively do not know how to let go of control okay so prayer is an approach affirmation is an approach so i would say just open yourself to receiving reiki energy and this will help you calm your system down calm your over stimulated nervous system so that you can trust more in the power of the universe you can let universe work on your behalf so that you don't have to get hyper all the time right because it's not going to work if you're going to operate from a over stimulated space how will you relax and if you're not relaxing how will you sleep if you're not sleeping how will your body regenerate how will your cells regenerate how will you receive that rejuvenation when you sleep right and that is the reason even when you go to sleep uh, your your brain is hyperactive i also tell this to most people that two hours before you go to sleep put away all the gadgets stop watching tv if you go to sleep at 11 9 o'clock shut everything off don't be on your phone throw away that ipad um also switch off the television and for the last two hours before you sleep maybe read a book read a book in um a book format not even a kindle because for me i used to read a lot of kindle before i sleep but uh, now i have specifically kept some books next to my bed where which are actually books okay and i read that and i i just i just stop myself from touching the phone if you want you can even keep the phone in another room unless you have to attend some you know emergency calls and you are someone who who needs to keep that phone next to you but 
a lot of us because we are we are also carrying the, those things because your brain your brain doesn't sleep na you are um you you are watching the phone till last minute you are watching reels you are just watching reels 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 and then you are your your brain it is not resting because even after your body is gone to sleep the brain is still processing all of that okay so that also causes your nervous system to be hyperactive so make sure you switch off your phone or keep it in another room do not do that you could do some other activities like journaling sketching drawing or uh, if you play any musical instrument that could be the thing deep breathing meditation or just spending time with your loved ones you know just talking to them or you can even just you know i always tell people you can even watch out from your uh, window i think it's one of the most underrated things i sometimes i just watch out of the window and i just try to look at what's around and be mindful with that and i think this also helps you regulate your nervous system when you are connecting to the nature okay and if you are living in cities i know you don't have a lot of nature around you but even if you look out of the window look towards the sky it's a very beautiful de stressing exercise you could do to regulate your nervous system and to help you release control okay having said that these are a few things you could do as a night routine and you could follow the same as morning routine when you wake up this is something which you could do first thing in the morning okay wonderful so let us start now receiving the energy so for this you do not have to do anything just sit with your uh, with your palms facing the sky put them on your lap and you could even close your eyes breathe deeply and relax and of course there are many more ways to regulate your nervous system but the most underrated and the easiest is just breathing deep it changes the way your body works when you breathe deep so do that and gently 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 breathe breathe in breathe out breathe in more breathe out more and just focus on the way you are breathing just focus on how you are breathing how your energy is feeling whatever thoughts are coming right now just let them come and at this moment let us invoke the presence of the divine we can even imagine that we are completely grounded our feet on earth mother earth is holding us in her safe cocoon of energy and we now invoke the presence of the divine to flow through us from the top of our crown chakra coming down and we also invoke the presence of all reiki masters around us we invoke the presence of all the reiki masters who are around us who are protecting us also the angelic kingdom including archangel raphael and you can also think of any divine being you believe in any particular master you connect to sai baba or any master you connect to any angel you connect to many people connect to archangel michael you can invoke their presence you also can imagine the area where you are sitting is protected by the energy of lord panchamukhi hanuman who protects you from all directions and who make sure that the space in which you are sitting is protected by his presence I also invoke the presence of celestial unicorns ninth dimensional high frequency unicorns to be here and in today's healing along with the reiki masters we also ask the celestial unicorns to help us in today's healing at first i want you to think of something which you are finding very difficult to let go something which you've been trying to let go for the longest time but you're not able to you just end up trying to control and you don't know how to trust the universe or you holding a lot of stress about something 
maybe you are angry or you are worried or you are just stressed about something. I want you to think about it. And now I want you to imagine that there is a huge gigantic cardboard box in front of you. And I want you to imagine that the cardboard box is being held by all your divine team. I can actually see your Reiki masters holding that beautiful box, white, white colored cardboard box. And if you're someone who is a Reiki practitioner, you can even imagine the Reiki symbols on it. But that's not compulsory. If you have never heard of Reiki before too, you can still just imagine a basic cardboard box in front of you. And the box becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It almost becomes the size of you. It again becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. It becomes twice as you. It becomes still bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it becomes size of this room. And your Reiki masters are standing there and they are telling you that it is safe for you to let go of all the control you've been putting. Or it could be a memory or it could be something which you're just not able to let go of, which is really causing you a lot of stress, a lot of tension. Let yourself just feel all of that. And now imagine you pushing all of that in that box. You're pushing all of that in that box. If it is something you're visualizing, you can even imagine it getting out of your third eye, getting inside the box. You can just allow it to go inside the box. Don't worry if you're not able to visualize too. Please know it is still working. You do not cognitively need to understand it. So just allow it to just go. And it's all going in the box. It's all going in the box. It's just going. It's going and it's going. And it's going. And it's going. Amazing. Allow all of that to go. Allow any related things to also go inside that box. For instance, if there is something you're trying to control at work, you may also have any memories associated with it. Maybe you had an argument with someone at work because of some, you know, misunderstanding, some arguments which happened. And now you are just not willing to have that. You, you are not willing to release that. So just allow all of that to get inside, get inside, get inside that. And you will see to it that when you try to put it inside the box, you see threads, you see cords or you see threads connecting from your body to the box. Now, if you see any connections which are to your body and the box, which means you're not able to push them completely into the box, it is because you have energetic cords which are connecting you to those memories, which is not letting you let go of the control. Right. And, you know, maybe you're thinking, why am I continuously thinking negative? But you're thinking negative because those cords are keeping you stuck in that. Place. So if you are someone who is feeling stuck, feel free to put all the control in the box. Come on, let it all go. Sab jane do, just let it go. 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 Wonderful. Allow it to go. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going inside the box. And now we are going to ask Archangel Michael to be here. You see this beautiful being who looks like a someone who is who has huge wings, who is carrying a sword in his hand. And he has his one hand, which is a benevolent hand over him. And from behind Archangel Michael, there is this entire team of healers. And his entire team of his band of mercy is with him. And you also see Reiki masters. And at this time, if you really connect to any divine being, maybe it's Lord Hanuman, maybe it is Durga Mata, maybe it is any divine being you believe in who is who has the form of a fierce warrior. Some, some people think of Durga Mata because she is someone who, who can help you release, destroy all evil. You know, she is the epitome of someone who can destroy evil. So it could be Durga Mata, it could be Kali Mata, or it could be... Lord Hanuman or it could be any any divine being who can just release any negativity 
and of course there is archangel michael too so if you connect to angels it could be archangel michael for me it's always you know i always connect to the energy so whether i call it by archangel michael i call it by hanuman ji or i call it by durga ma i always connect to that energy of courage and now you imagine that there is a big sword in the hand of this being or if if you see hanuman ji you could see a gada or his um, mace i think that's what they call right in his hand and you can imagine that with this sword or with this trishul they are going to cut off these cords separating those controlling thought forms those negative memories and all that control which you have put so imagine them taking their sword or taking that mace or taking that trishul whatever the instrument is and what we are going to do is we are going to breathe in and as we breathe out we are going to cut all the cords so with your permission i ask this divine being to help you cut the cords they will only help you to the extent you give them permission so you have to give them permission and you are going to say deep breathe you are going to deep breathe and exhale and you are going to see them cut it off 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 wonderful cut it off let it all go let it all go let it all go let it all go so many cords of fear just do not hold on to fear guys it's time to let go this time to let go of all the fear very good please let go you are still holding on let go say i am now ready to let it go just let go of all of that let go of all the restrictions all the contracts all agreements you've made to stay stuck just let it go just let it go just let it go connect disconnect everything from your solar plexus from your abdomen all of that control just let it all go let it all go let it all go from your heart any hurt any grief which you're holding on you don't deserve to hold on to grief love is the only truth just let go let go of all of that let go of all of that wonderful all the connections with your throat everywhere where you're not able to speak up for yourself let it all go let it all go all fear based things which you have watched maybe any fearful movie you watched as a child and which created so much impact on you as an adult that you naturally became a fearful person because your subconscious you believed in fear more than you believed in the faith of universe all of it connected to your third eye allow it to be cut allow it to be released allow it to be released any any forms of distrust and mistrust with the universe just let it go cut it off and only allow the divine light to pour through your crown wonderful all of them are gone all the all the cords are gone it's all released it's all released i see some residual cords which are very thin just almost like a string but it's time to release that as well so with the next breath we are going to release all and exhale and all the cords are removed and now we ask the divine archangel raphael and all the reiki masters are stepping in they are putting this orange light this purple light this green light this white light and this golden light all around you all the divine beings are putting their lights around you beautiful just allow those lights to enter your aura i can even see beautiful reiki symbols being put on your aura if you do not know what symbols are it's still okay just feel free to receive it let go of all barriers let go of all resistance everywhere you believe that things are not working for you or everywhere you believe that you will things will never work for you just release those resistances put all your barriers down just keep receiving this energy wonderful beautiful allow yourself to receive that energy it's it's there in your aura whoever is listening you're just going to receive this energy allow it to completely fill your aura soak your aura in those different lights wonderful wonderful you guys are doing great just receive that energy just receive that energy allow yourself to receive that beautiful light that divine light and you could just keep on receiving this energy you can tell the divine that i would like to receive this energy even when i go to sleep you can receive this energy the energy is working for you i'm just directing the energy to you i'm just a medium please know that i'm just a medium so it's not the energy which i am giving you it is the energy which is in the universe which you are receiving and you will only receive to the extent which you allow it to be so just let that energy soak completely in you you may even see different colored lights around you you may feel warm 
I'm actually feeling hot. I was feeling cold as I started this session, but now I'm feeling hot and um, I'm, I'm, I feel I, I need the AC to be on. It's, it's really hot in here because the energy is beautifully flowing. Wonderful. And one last one minute, last one or two minutes where we are going to ground this energy within you. So allow this energy to cover your aura right from the top of your head. Go down your third eye, down your nose, down your face, down your throat, down your heart, the back of your heart, around your abdomen, around the, your middle back, your lower back, going down your, your feet. It goes down your legs. It goes down to your feet and it goes down into Mother Earth. So just push this energy down into Mother Earth so that we ground all the energy. Allow the energy to ground completely and know that I am now ready to integrate it. You can simply say, I am now ready to integrate this energy. I now I am now free of, I am now free, absolutely free. I am ready to receive the miracles. I am a walking magnet of possibilities. Good, only good things come to me. I always receive support from the universe. I am always lucky. In fact, I am, people are surprised how lucky I am. And I am so lucky that I only attract opportunities and possibilities. I attract people, I attract clients who are only a contribution to my life. Abundance is my birthright and I receive abundance just like how I breathe. Life is very easy for me. I receive things almost like a fairy tale. I almost feel like I am the luckiest person on earth. I, I feel like I have a magical wand and I can create anything and everything. And I have now created more space for blessings and the divine is with me. The universe always supports me and I am aligned to the supportive power of the universe. This or better, thank you, thank you, thank you. Allow all this energy to get integrated. We are now going to ask the divine to help us creating a shield around us to adjust our auras, our chakra and to create a beautiful shield around us so that all the healing which we've done stays in that bubble of light. And you can just reactivate this bubble of light every, every 24 hours. You could either listen to this audio or you could even do it yourself. No, you don't, you don't need me. You can do it yourself too because you are as powerful as I am and we all are as powerful as each other. We all are powerful because we are we have the universe, our biggest supporter with us. Right? So you each one of you is very powerful and you can imagine this bubble of light around you every every day. And then the Reiki masters are putting another ball of violet light around you. And Archangel Raphael is putting another ball of light around you. And Archangel Michael is now putting those blue cloaks of light around you. Wonderful. And you are aware of the celestial unicorns who have created this magical space for you. We ask them to keep us in their beautiful white light. You are always connected to Mother Earth's energy. You are grounded. Be aware of your roots. Be aware that you are always connected to Mother Earth and she is holding a safe space for you. We thank all the divine beings, all the Reiki masters, all the divine beautiful beings who have supported us during the last 45 minutes to do this healing as well as to give the guidance. Whatever I also spoke before the actual healing was guidance from the energy. So we thank them for giving this guidance. We ask the divine energies, the Reiki masters, the angels, archangels, ascended masters, we thank them and we ask them to return back and we will call upon them again whenever we need them. But for now, we thank them and bow down to them for their presence and for their help with all the healing. And I would ask you to now gently rub your palms against each other, touch them to your face. And whenever you feel ready, you can open your eyes. Slowly coming back to the your and now. Namaste and thank you.